you're been, you've been able to endear yourself to youth culture for like three generations now, right? Mm -hmm. So like yeah. the, the kids still to this day regard you as one of their own, which is an anomaly in hip hop, right? Because hip hop is kind of like an ageist genre of music. Sometimes they feel like when you get older, you can't be a part of the youth culture. You mm -hmm. transcended that. Why do you think you've been able to continue to endear yourself to the kids, man? Man, because I, I, you know, I'm, I, I live in uh, 2022, and I, I live in like you know the future. You know what I'm saying? So I, I stay, I keep up with the times, and this is something I love to do. So it just kind of it's organic for me. And um, when I come around these artists, they just be like, man, you still out here making music? I do a lot of this stuff for fun. Like I dropped this song, Step Back. You know, I did that for fun, but it's just getting a lot of great recognition. It's cool, man. And um, and I help a lot of artists out with deals. I can't say the names of the artists, but a lot of artists come to me, they be like, should I sign this publishing agreement? Or I'm getting this percentage. Or what label should I sign? What I, should I do independent? So I help out a lot of people free of charge. I don't be trying to charge everybody. Like I say things in my flows that they can relate. I mean, I just keep up with the time. This is how I am. I never been like a type of person that lived in 1999 and stuck in 1999. Yeah. You know, I'm in like 2050 right now, you know, I'm way yeah. beyond. <laughs> I'm the Quincy Jones of rap music. You know, oh, wow. you mention, that's a yeah. statement right there. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. when you mention Jay-Z and Nas and all these people in the top five, now I'm not saying I'm the biggest lyricist, but my name should be somewhere in there because I'm, I'm being around forever. You know, you're going to always see me. You're going to see me at the Grammys, the Academy Awards, yeah. the Global, any, anything that's big, you're going to see me at. Besides your uh, song, Step Back, what else can we be expecting from you in the future? Uh, me and Wiz dropped the project. Uh, I produced 90% uh, of the project. It's called uh, Stoner's Night. Um, we, uh, we dropped it like a month ago. So I've just been doing a lot of little independent music and uh, doing a lot of touring. I just did a, a show with 36 Mafia in Memphis, over 100,000 people at the festival. It was crazy. So, you know, I'm just out here in the producing as well. I'm producing Mega Stallion, Key Glock, a lot of, a lot of producers, me and Pierre Bourne.